this is what's left of the Montana trailer after we unloaded the stuff that needed to stay here at the shop. This was the, the day Which? of the trip, the day we went to checkerboard. So I was getting some straps and stuff out of this trailer to tie down the snowmobiles with and take with us just in case we need And when you took the straps, everything just kind of fell over? No, that's just, <laughs> that's just the way we professionally packed the trailer. Oh, okay. We ensured that everything would stay in its place for its... Uh, Voyage. Yes, for its voyage to Anaconda. And then we emptied it all because we took it to the floor at Mont Ford instead. Yeah, we did do that and then we put it all back in. Alright. Plus I tried my hand at videoing you know how professional YouTubers yeah, do. Yeah. Uh-huh. Didn't really work out that way. It well. didn't work, but at least we got a real good picture of that trailer, you know, because that's there's not another pile of junk like that anywhere. I I mean that's that's our pile of junk, you know what I'm saying? Getting the snowmobiles ready for their maiden voyage. Woo. Clinton is sucking mine down lower because he doesn't like the fact that it was sitting higher than his. <laughs> Ask him which one made it to that oh, trip. We're going to find out, aren't we? All right, we're heading up to checkerboard. Pretty much to just... Well, that was fast. We're already there. Yeah. Um, now I don't know where we're going. Because we this is still there. Whoa. Still checkerboard. Some of your video stuff. So this is checkerboard, my grandma and grandpa's cabin. And, and uh, now we left checkerboard and we're going to the castles. Let's go snowmobiling. Castles? I don't even know. No, I don't think this is castle. I think this is one of the belts. I don't know. We're somewhere up near checkerboard. Look at that thing smoke. Whew. Oh, man. Hey, Quentin, your speedometer's not moving. Yeah, no. You're going like zero, Quentin. <laughs> hey, at least my sled worked. <laughs> he keeps making all these little chipe-ins about his sled working and mine not. He's the one that did all the work on the snowmobile before he left, so I'm starting to think that maybe... <laughs> I didn't... Yep. Mm -hmm. No we, sabotage I'm there. questioning it. This is when we followed Ed off the trail, even though we were told not to follow Ed if he goes off the trail. Yeah, Ed. Well, who was it? Willer said, if you, if they, if, if Ed, Ed goes into the woods, don't just follow him. Just don't follow him. him. And we're like, here we go. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, so that's Cousin Ed up there in front. And I'd say that right there was Willard coming was up Willard. because he was getting bored. Yeah. <laughs> you got I'm saying that's those two because me and Quentin are both like, this we we're not gonna be like you know yeah. Yeah, let's do the snow like those guys were. We're just want we're trying really hard not to fall off. Wasn't a whole lot of snow up here, but we found enough, and and we weren't all the way up there yet. Yeah. So that you just totally ruined the whole picture, man. <laughs> what, what what the heck? That's the best you can do. Can't fix this. I didn't know what happened. I'm trying to steer the damn sled. Well, when snow comes up and goes, I'll guarantee that when in your face, you can pretty much be assured that it probably jacked up the visual of the first camera. Before, first, before you go, and so you're watching the guy in front of you. If, they, like if he turns off, you want to stop so he knows where to turn and stay with you. Same thing we did with the ATVs. Yeah, with yeah. ATVs on the trails, okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, we just, and then if, you know, like it, when I waved you on, that's, I just knew that was a trail in there that I wanted to take. So What he's saying right there is he waved you on? Yeah. And you just followed him? Yeah. Okay, because, see, I wasn't there. I'm following Clinton. I didn't realize that, that he like, hey, Clinton, you stay on the road. He, he, and you're like, no, I'm going with you. We could have gotten some serious trouble. That's probably why my sled broke. No, I don't think he... I don't, I think he meant to take us down where he took us. He said he waved you on. I think I think what he meant by that was like, it's okay to follow me in here. Oh. If I was to go straight, I had I wouldn't know where the hell I was going. Look where you followed the road. Oh. Oh. No, s***. <laughs> 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 
my boy. And you're welcome to follow me. I won't do anything crazy today because it's. <laughs> Like I, 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 I was going like this to Willard. I said he's going to the trees. Uh, uh. Yeah, he yeah, said. I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew where he was going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of fun going up through like that. It's nothing hard, you know. And sometimes I like to not follow a track and go make my own track. And I got to figure out how to get steer the damn thing. I feel like I'm all over Body. the place. Leaning. Leaning. See. Yeah. Okay. Going like this. Yeah, I've seen him doing that. Yeah. Or yeah. just stand up and. Lean with it. These turn better than those, but just if you can't get it to turn, you want to go that way. Gotcha. Okay. That's what this is for. We'll get up some parts up here. You can kind of play around. Yeah, you get the parts. Practice turning. A little less and... rocks. There's a few rocks in there. Yeah. I touched a couple of them. Well, so no big deal. Okay, we're snowmobiling again now. Sleds are running pretty good at this point. I mean, honestly, we're moving pretty good, too. Yeah. Yo, it was much better than the riding that we did about Yellowstone. Yeah, and we're not even, like I say, we're not even really up there yet. They're, they're, I know they had bigger plans than what the way that they ended up going, but... No. Sorry, Shane didn't get stuck. I got stuck. Again, we didn't have our camera guy with us, so Quentin's kind of doing this, so I'm sorry we didn't have everything getting filmed, but we're going to work on that in the future. What happened here was we kind of got to our first, like, playground. This is a, We're not even up there yet. Playground is, you know, an area where we can just go and climb a hill, and you can kind of start doing some practicing, and I was, like, watching, and I was like, you know, I should be able to do that. I know all the things I need to do to avoid having my sled roll down the hill and kill me. But, um, so I was about to go do it, right? Quentin, he's over there just putzing around, probably having a lot of the same thoughts I am. And so I decided to stop because I had to go see a man about a horse. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna climb that hill. I was ready, I was really gonna do it. I was gonna climb it and, 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 and get that experience behind me so that I wasn't nervous about it no more. And went over there, the sled's been running fine shutting it on and off everything all day long. Go over there, pull the rope, nothing. Oh man, so I pulled it harder, pulled it harder, and then bam, starter rope broke. I look over at these guys and I'm like, hey uh, guys, I'm having some issues over here. And actually they, I think, called me on the radio. Shane, you, need, you know, what, what's going on? Quentin's stuck over here. And I, you know, like, why aren't you coming to help? And I'm like, yeah, my, my, my snowmobile broke. So right at the exact same time, Quentin goes and gets stuck. I'll let him explain that. And my sled's over here and stops working. And we're not even, we're still probably an hour or two from lunchtime, really. Yeah. So, how'd you get stuck, Clinton? <laughs> so we were, I don't know, I guess maybe the best word is, it, it's, you got this valley and you have a small hill on, on your left and you have a larger hill on your right. <laughs> and they were just going back and forth between these two hills and I was getting up the courage to take the, the larger one because I had been going up and down the smaller one. And I was trying to work on my turning on on the side of a hill because you have to like lean on your sled and stuff. Um, so I was working on my turning and I was coming down the hill and I had stopped to change my stance. Um, and then, but I didn't have enough momentum to get started again and I, my sled just dug a hole right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's, that's the steak, which is really good. And then that pan's full of a bunch of <laughs> that I won't eat, but Clint. But Quentin likes it. Oh man, he Ed does you right, man. We got steak, uh, we got uh, shrimp, we got scallops, uh, we got oysters, uh, we got plenty of snacks, cheese and crackers. Uh, it's alcohol. Oh, there was alcohol there. <laughs> yeah, that's huh. definitely alcohol. Soccer. Yeah, that's Ed's water jug. What you're seeing there is Quentin's snowmobile in front of mine. We were, like, say, an hour away from from the trailers. And we just tied this, my trailer, my sled right to the back of his for the first, I don't know, quarter of the way. I was riding with Willard, which is really hard. And then we just decided to give it a go with me sitting on my sled. So um, I got to sit there and watch right behind Quentin. And there's a couple times if I could have hit him, I would have. Um, but he got me back there safe and sound. And then we just lowered the back ramp. Drove right up on there. Drove. He drove down the front ramp there, and drove the sled up on there, and 
Bob's your uncle. <laughs> now it's sitting here in our shop. Yeah. Still not working. Well, come on now. We've got parts coming. That's, that's, I've still got like four days, so hopefully all's going to be well. You'll find out. Either that sled's going to be there or it won't. If it ain't, I'm probably going to be in a lot of trouble. It's going to be barking at me. But we had some plans change, um, and, and, and we just we just lost a couple weekends, and, and that was where we planned to fix it. But, um, yeah, so that's our snowmobile trip. I'm sorry it was not more eventful, but we'll, we'll get better video of that. We're, we're actually having a good time. This is why we moved to Montana. Um, Quentin, on the way back, even on, on this day in, in the truck, he just looked at me and said, just want you to know I really enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun doing that. So that's what this is all about.